Hello and welcome. Jonathan Bradshaw here with this week's Meteorology Minute. This week I've got a science-backed reason as to why generally surrounding yourself with positive, with people who are in a good mood, happier people could be useful for you. Emotional contagion is what we're talking about here. The fact that our emotions spread, it seems, to those who we interact with socially. If you're in a good mood, you absolutely, recent research suggests, can affect the moods of those you, those you interact with. University of Warwick, based in Coventry in the UK, did some research that studied or looked at US adolescents. And absolutely recent research out just in the last few weeks found that those kids, those adolescents who were surrounding themselves with friends who were less positive in a worse mood tended to get in a worse mood and feel a little bit lower too. But the reverse was true. Those who had a network of positive friends, of people who were um, in a better mood, tended to feel better themselves too. Emotional contagion, a very well-researched phenomenon. And it leaves us with the question, two, two senses, two sides. What kind of people are you surrounding yourself with? The better mood they're in could well affect how you feel over time and vice versa. What are you giving off? What's the emotion that you're giving to your friends? Because if you can be in a better mood, it's likely it will infect them to feel the same way. Now, what we're not talking about is obsessive positivity and hiding our negative emotions. There is an important part for negative emotions to play. It's much better to accept them and investigate them than to push them aside. We are not, as you'll probably know, uh, all about um, being happy and positive thinking all the time. Science doesn't back that up for a long-term strategy for life. However, I ask you again, this week, what emotion are you giving off and what emotions are you letting in from the friends you interact with? I'll be back in a week's time with some more meteorology, helping you thrive professionally and personally by making people skills one of your superpowers. See you in seven days. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.